Okay, this is going to be about your teeth, um, baby teeth, starting with baby teeth. They're called deciduous teeth because they fall out, and you only have 20 of them. As an adult, you have 32 teeth. Um, how teeth are named, the first two, the front two, are called incisors. The pointy ones are canines, and then you have your molars in the back, and those are more flattened for grinding. The incisors and molars are more for ripping and tearing of meat, and the molars are more for crushing and grinding of that food to help turn it into a bolus. And because we're omnivores, we have both types, so we can both eat meat and plants equally well. Individually, looking at a tooth, it has three parts. The crown, the part you can see, the neck, which is in the gingiva, or the gums, and then the root that's actually in the mandible. Starting at the top, the crown is made of enamel. Enamel is the hardest um, substance in the body, and it covers the tooth. When there's a cavity, that is the piece of the tooth that has actually been eroded away. And so when you get a filling, you're filling that hole. Dentin is below that. It is made of calcium, but it is not bone. The tooth does have bl blood and nerve supply. So for you sore tooth, for people with sore teeth, this is where it comes from. The root canal brings up nerves and blood vessels into the pulp cavity, which contains nerves and blood vessels. The tooth has also a root. Baby teeth don't have roots, and the root holds the tooth to the mandible via the periodontal ligament. Some diseases for in the mouth would be gingivitis and periodontitis. Gingivitis is just a swelling of the gums, and periodontitis is when that is even worse and more inflamed. I hope that was helpful.